What do you like about singing? I like it because it's um, it's an easy way to be musical. Like it doesn't require you to have an instrument and spend hours and hours in pra um, practicing. Like yes, you can be much better if you practice and if you take proper care of your vocal cords and such. Because yes, your voice is an instrument, but anyone can do it to a certain degree, and you c it's a really good way to bring people together as a group to just sing and have fun. What do you think it is about music that brings people together? Well, it's the uniting of voices in one message. And certainly, because I was raised in the church, uh, it was a lot of fun to sing and have harmonies come together. You'd hear the men and their low voices, and then the women would be singing high, and then you'd have like three different voices of females. And, yeah. So how do you feel about Christmas music? Wow. <laughs> well, when I was young, again, I was in the church, so we used to go caroling door to door and we'd sing together and knock on the doors and, you know, that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, but Christmas, I don't really like Christmas anymore. Christmas, mm -hmm. because I don't have that belief anymore, is just sort of a capitalist deception. You know, and it drives materialism, which leads to pollution. Yeah. And, you know, that really bugs me. So that probably, and besides, I hate the weather. Um, <laughs> but the music is part of that. You no, know, the music's not part of the weather, really. But, well, but the, the capitalism. And, and yeah. 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 So, like, especially, you know, having worked as a young person in, uh, when I was going to university, I, they used to play Christmas music all day all the time yeah you know elvis <laughs> singing it and yeah see i grew up with the other way around with like poppy remixes of those songs no. so i hate those more but i love the old ones because they have actually really trained voices in them well and murray sings a pretty good christmas song yeah she does i mean if you have to listen to christmas music um what do you think it is about music that draws people together i think it's the a lot of artists put out lyrics that are relatable to many people, like falling in love, breaking up, missing someone, losing someone to like a death or a disease, um, and people can just connect under that and relate to the lyrics, mm -hmm. and that's easy to bring people together, in my opinion. Do you think music is important in life? Definitely, because it just um, it makes you feel emotions, it can conjure up memories, of various things you've seen, heard, experienced, um, what, be they happy or sad, and it just has such a huge tie to life. So, why do you think you were singing to us when we were kids? Because when I was a kid, we used to sing all the time, and it made me happy, and we used to sing in the car, and it was a way of uniting the family, and mm, being happy. And it was also because I wanted to pass on your father's cultural uh, heritage. So we sang in French in our car. Mm -hmm. In my mom's car and dad's car. We used to sing in English. Yeah. So what do you think it is about music that really draws people together? I think it's the fact that it's so widely available. Because you can't really go anywhere without hearing some kind of music. So it just brings people together and it's very rare that you have music that only one person knows. So whenever you're in certain different groups, like if you're with a bunch of musical theatre people, if you start singing a show tune, everyone will join in. And then you'll end up with harmonies and everything will be great. And if you start singing a pop song, other people will probably join in. And it's just the fact that it brings people together. So where do you think people are most exposed to music in like media these days? Like in films or like video games or like, I don't know, depends how old you are. Yeah. I think it depends on your age. Like your father, he doesn't really watch TV very much. And so, you know, he doesn't hear that much music and he never puts music on. And I usually get it on 
television. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, DJ. Was this the radio all the time? Well, radio, and you guys do this uh, Spotify, and, uh, you know, you sign up for iTunes and stuff like that, that pipes music to you, and I don't really like that because it tells you what is like, sort of hip at the moment. And well, I mean, I never pay attention to what iTunes no. tells me, I just use it to, to listen to music. No, but I think a lot of people your age, and certainly when I was your age, um, my musical taste was shaped by what I was hearing and basically those were songs that were paid to be played by, you know, music companies. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it was conditioning my musical palette, if you will. Yeah. Whereas, well, now I, as you know, listen to just wild, crazy things. Um, do you think that music is important in your life? I would say so. Yeah, I, I tend to listen to quite a lot of music whenever I'm walking to and from classes or to and from university or just in the car with my parents, although I probably should be listening to them. Um, I, I love music and I, and I think it can really set a mood for how you're feeling. And then also, you know, on buses or like in cars, I like to do that classic music video thing where I play a sad song and I just lean my head against the window and I'm just off in the music video. <laughs> and it's just so real, but I, yeah. That's how it's feeling, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I like listening to music a lot.